using shuttles, we are sending bombs into space. Once the time has come to deploy the bomb, we have trained specialists controlling the shuttle the bombs are located. You then deploy the bombs around the asteroid and then force, the force should push it away with a shockwave. The bomb we are using is the Taishar Bomba, a bomb with the explosiveness of 50 megatons of TNT. The bomb is 26 feet long and 6.9 feet in diameter. We are planning to use more than one of these bombs to push the D1 away with the shockwave. This type of bomb is not as, as radioactive as the classic nuclear bomb. The reason behind this is because it's a thermonuclear bomb, so it releases heat instead of radioactivity. To get the bomb into space, we are using controlled shuttles by humans on Earth. Each shuttle has to be has got to be able to carry 60,000 pounds, as this is the weight of one bomb. The shuttle in space will release all the bombs at once, then detonate them at once to create a large enough shockwave to push the asteroid back. The trained specialists will be trained until the time has come to save the world. They will all have to control the shuttle to maneuver other asteroids, meteorites, and other space junk. We will deploy the bombs about halfway in between the asteroid and the Earth to give it enough time to move away to get the bombs up there. The only risk we run the, with this is possible tiny bits of debris landing on the planet. We will give people warning to watch out for debris, but it will not be massive rocks landing on Earth. People may think we run the risk of radioactivity coming into the, onto Earth's atmosphere. It's not a risk, as it will explode in, in space and will stay there, as there is not air in space. Also, the type of bomb is hardly any radioactivity. We think this plan will work because of the science and the math behind it. We spend a lot of time doing research, math, and the science behind it. We are confident it will work.